I am Anil Kumar sharing with you another question from my subscriber on multiple variable optimization. Here we will learn how to apply Lagrange method for maximizing or minimizing the function when a constraint is given to us. Right? So in this particular question, let's go through the question first. The question is, a consumer's utility function is given by uxy equals to xy with budgetary constraint 5x plus 10y equals to 100. Find the values of x and y that maximize the utility function subject to the budgetary constraint. What is the value of Lagrange multiplier lambda? So that's the question for us. To begin with, Let's write down the utility function here, which is u x y equals to x y. Then we have a constraint. So the constraint is 5x plus 10y equals to 100. And then here we can write the Lagrange equation. That is the, the gradient for the utility function, which is u x y should be equal to Lagrange multiplier times the gradient for the the constraint function. Let me write this as g of x, y. Is that okay? Uh, for a particular point, when they will be, uh, they will have the same gradient, that is scalar multiples, those points will be x0, y0. Correct? So that is how we can set up kind of a table to solve this kind of a question, right? Now, to find the gradient, what we can do is we can find the partial derivatives. So partial derivative with respect to x for this particular utility function will be equal to y. Partial derivative with respect to y will be x is treated as constant, so it will be x, right? Now here, for the constraint, the partial derivative with respect to x will be 5, right? These are considered to be constants. You could rewrite this as, uh, as 5x plus 10y minus 100 equals to 0, right? So that is your gx. Is it okay? Now, so gx is 5 and gy is equals to 10. Now you can write the Lagrange multiplier equation as y equals to, so y is equal to 5 times lambda, where lambda is the Lagrange multiplier, and x equals to, x equals to 10 times lambda, right? So we get these two equations to solve. Now to find the value, what we can do is, we can use the budgetary constraint, which is 5x plus 10y. So instead of x, I can write this as 10 lambda, right? So this is, I'm picking up the value of x from here, right? We are substituting in our utility function, correct? Plus 10 times y, 10 times y is 5 lambda, 5 lambda equals to 100. You get the idea, right? So basically what we've done is, in our utility function, which is 5x plus 10y equals to 100, we have substituted these values, right? So x is 10y, y is 5y, correct? So 5 times 10y, I mean 10 lambda, and 10 times 5 lambda equals to 100. So that gives us 50 lambda plus 50 lambda equals to 100 or 100 lambda equals to 100 and the multiplier is equals to 1, correct? So we get the value of the multiplier which is 1 in our case. Now find the values of x and y that maximize the utility. So we can easily find the values of x and y x is equal to 10 times 1, which is 10, and y is equal to 5 times 1, which is 5. 
<coughs> so, so that's what we get in the maximum utility u x y so x value is 10 y value is 5 is equal to x times y so which is 10 times 5 the value is 50 so we get 50 units as uh, the the maxima maximum utility function value now the question is to confirm is it a maximum or minimum price so we are not very sure whether it is a maximum or minimum now, how do we do that we know it could be maximum or minimum the only thing is we can test with another value which could be nearby so in our case we found that x is 10 y is 5 this is our equation correct so what we can do here is instead of taking y as 5 lambda is 1 right instead of taking y as 5 let's take y as 4 okay so we have this equation 5x plus 10 times 4 so what we have done is we're checking for y equals to 4 which is close to 5 right which is close to 5 equals to 100 that gives you 5x equals to 100 minus 40 which is which is 60 or x is equals to 60 over 5 that is 12 so if I take the x and y values as 12 and 4 right as 12 and 4 then what do we get 12 times 4 as our utility value which is 48 now since 50 is greater than 48 we know this is the maximum value so that is how you can actually also show that we have maximized the utility function subject to the budgetary constraint right? so i hope the steps are absolutely clear it basically is an example which helps you to understand how to apply the Lagrange method for maximizing when one budgetary constraint is given to us. Feel free to write your suggestions and your comments. Post questions as always. Thanks a lot.